Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Eunice if you're new here. I'm so excited for today's makeover because it was with my close friend Yamin. We just completed her new studio apartment space and it was such a special project because she had just moved in and this is also the first time that she's living on her own without roommates, meaning she has full creativity of her new space. So Yemin reached out to me because although she now has this whole space to herself, she is actually downsizing because she's going from a three bedroom shared apartment to a studio apartment. And so she wanted some help with decorating and also maximizing the space. We set a pretty tight budget at $200 because we agreed on keeping her existing furniture and only buying things if necessary to achieve the style that she wants. So make sure you stick till the end to find out if we stayed within budget and if you're curious for some renter friendly space saving and affordable decor ideas then keep watching So Yamin is a software engineer and she's been working from home remotely since the pandemic started and her highest priority was making sure that she has a dedicated working area that is separate from her sleep area. So we decided to remove this wardrobe that came with the apartment. It was attached on the left side of the wall. It was glued on there and we decided to recycle that so that she can put her bed in that corner because it fit perfectly um, and that way her sleep area and work area can be as far away from each other as possible. Our other priorities were making sure she has a seating area to eat her meals because she didn't want to be eating at her desk all the time and also organizing all of her plant babies in a way where they are not cluttered not taking up too much floor space but also making sure that they each get enough sunlight i also made sure to leave enough open space in the middle so that she can pull out a yoga mat and work out whenever she wants to and just so that she has enough walking and breathing space in between her bed desk and dining area Hey, how's it going? <laughs> I looked at some of the like pins that you saved onto our board. There's a lot of whites, just clean, uh, a lot of greenery. I know you have like a lot of plants, so we're gonna have to figure out a situation to organize them in a way where it doesn't feel so chaotic. Yeah, like you said, like warm tone. I like the wood color and also I like uh, white, a lot of white furniture, and also a little bit of like Japanese a Zen vibe. Thanks. Yeah. All bye. right. Bye bye. The first thing I knew how to change was her bedding. Yemen has always wanted an all white bedding set, so that is what we went for. And replacing her bedding immediately just lightened up and change the entire space. Since Yumin doesn't have a room for a couch in this space, I also DIY this headboard so that she can comfortably lean against it and Netflix or read on her bed. And I'll make sure to add a link to that DIY project right here. And for above the bed, I recreated this quote print that she has saved on our Pinterest board and I think it just brings in a lot of warmth to this corner. And to top off her bed area, we got these cushions to also tie in with the warmth and the greenery that she has from all of her plants. We kept it pretty simple on the side of her bed with this little white table that she already has, a lamp, and a few little decor pieces. With the bed in the left corner, there was some space between the bed and her closet door that fit the cube shelf organizer perfectly and we thought it would be nice to put that there so that it can kind of dual function as a TV stand. So when Yemen's watching Netflix from her bed, she likes to use her monitor to just have a bigger screen and I really wanted to make sure that that was within reach for her and so we placed that monitor on top of the cube organizer and so that she can always angle it towards her whenever she needs it. I also got her three more of these gray bins that match her existing ones just to help hide away all of the clutter. Yemen has a lot of these little knickknacks and decor things that have a lot of sentimental value and I kept some just to help bring out some of her personality into this space but saved the rest to be placed in a memory box. I think having too many knickknacks and decor things out can make a space look really cluttered and sometimes a little juvenile depending on what kinds of items you have out. And Especially with a smaller space like a studio apartment, I think less is definitely more. 
And instead of filling all three cubes of the top row, I gave her some more storage options to help her achieve that clean zen look that she really wants. The most impactful change had to be getting this plant stand. It freed up so much space and I love how this stand just gives each plant on the shelf its own little moment. And I feel like Emin can now just kind of walk around it, water her plants and really enjoy them as well as the view from the outside. The stand also has slats on them so that the sunlight can reach all of the bottom levels and so that each plant can get plenty of sunlight. If you do get a stand like this, I recommend putting the ones that are okay with indirect sunlight at the very bottom and putting the plants that need the most sunlight up at top. And with the plants out of the way, we finally had some room for a dining arrangement. She already had these two chairs that we placed there with this little foldable wooden table. With the dining arrangement here, Yemin can now also enjoy the outside and her plants while eating and also have a dedicated area to eat at when she hosts a guest. There's this shelf on the right wall and her desk fits perfectly beneath it so we decided to use that to help center her desk and to use that as sort of a focal point if you're facing that side of the wall. So I decorated the shelf with some things that show Yemen's interests like software engineering, traveling, and plants. And I also got her this rug to put beneath the desk and chair to really help ground that work area so that she has some floor protection when she's rolling around on her chair. In that corner, we also hung a pothos plant. So Yemen's landlord is very lenient and we got permission to drill in nails on the wall. But you can still totally hang a plant in a renter-friendly way by using a command hook. And I'll make sure to add links to them below. One of my favorite parts has to be this framed collage that we made together using postcards and photos that Yamin had collected. We framed it with this gold frame that I thrifted a long ago and I just never found a use for it and I thought it was perfect for this empty wall space above her stove. A framed collage is a great way to use those postcards and photos without it being too college dorm-like. Right below the collage where the stove is, there's a bit of countertop space and I think bar stools can go in there perfectly, but because we already had a dining arrangement set for this space, we decided to just use um, the bottom floor area to stack her books and have a little nook for her art supplies. Lastly, I added a few of her favorite decor pieces above this wall like shoe organizer that came with the apartment. That was it. Before I show you guys the final shots, let's just reminisce back to our goals. So Yemen really wanted a space that feels zen, more minimal, green, and warm. And her functional priorities were having a dedicated workspace, a place to dine and host a guest, and also a better organization for her plants. After a few DIYs and decluttering, here's what her studio apartment looks like now. Did we hit our budget goal? We were so close, so I'm gonna say yes. So we went $4 over our budget goal of $200 and the budget was spent on bedding and some organizational things and we successfully used her existing furniture. And after this makeover, we still had a large pile of things we hadn't used and this was a huge success for both of us because Yamin really wanted to take this opportunity of moving to donate and sell things that she um, didn't need anymore and become more minimal. And I was so, so happy to hear from her that after this project, she was able to come up with two boxes of things to donate and she now feels inspired to be more intentional about the things she buys and adds to her living space. 
Let me know below what you thought about this makeover, which was your favorite part. I really hope that this project gave you some space saving, renter friendly, and affordable decorating ideas. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to this channel to see more home decor and lifestyle videos from me. When you subscribe, make sure you hit the little bell next to it as well so that you're notified when I upload future videos. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you'd like to keep up with my project updates. I love connecting with you guys over there and as always thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one